So today I'm going to show you how to create an assembly uh, for FTC Robots and Autodesk Inventor Professional 2011. Uh, this is available to all FTC teams through Autodesk Inventor. You just go to the website and then you can get the program. And then you can use this to draft out your robots in a CAD software uh, fairly easily. And you'll be able to do a lot of troubleshooting this way. So here's the base frame we're going to build today. Um, it's pretty low center gravity, uh, fairly simple construction, not too many parts. So I'll put this together over the next probably two videos, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so when you start a when you start Autodesk Convention, you'll get a page that looks like this. Then you want to open up a new, right up here in the left hand corner, a new assembly. So we go standard assembly right here. Okay, so now we're in this assembly. And we want to place some parts down. So we're going to place, and then we, uh, wherever your parts are located, just find them. And then, so we're going to place some basic parts here, some ones that you should be familiar with. Uh, you can just select multiple and then open them together and then place, 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 you know, have it however many times you want to. You just have to continue clicking it. Uh, so if you want to delete a part though, you just click on it and then you delete. That's gone, delete. You can also right click and then delete it that way, but it's easier to hit it on the keyboard. So right now there's one part that's grounded, which means that it won't move. See this pin on my mouse here? It's also over on the right hand side over here. You can see this pin. Uh, so I don't want that part grounded. I actually want a different part grounded. I want one of these bars to ground it, so I'll ground this. Okay, so now this part won't move, and it's a 3D space, so all these parts will go in all three dimensions, uh, but that part won't move at all. So now I want to start constraining this to build a robot. So I'm going to use these constraints up here. There are multiple types of constraints. Uh, we're going to use most of the assembly ones. I'll show you some of the motion uh, ones a little later, but for the most part, we're going to be using the assembly ones. Um, so there's different types. There's mate, angle, tangent, and insert. They'll have different purposes, and I'll go through all of them at some point. Uh, so if we wanted to mate, it would look like we would put this here. Or we need to select the face there. Uh, so we select this face, and then this face. Let's try this again select this face and then this face. Okay, so now those are mated together and they'll just stick there. Um, but I don't really want to do that because that's not what I want to build. So I'm going to use flush here and this is going to make them the same height. And then I'm going to constrain one more dimension by putting it right here. And this is just going to make it easier to attach. I technically don't have to do either of those constraints if I didn't want to. So now this is going to move only in that direction. Now instead of constraining it fully, which I could do with an offset in mate, I could like set it to 8 inches or something um, and offset one edge from the other, but I don't want to do that. I We're going to use other parts, so we might as well use them. Um, so we're going to select this part here, and we're going to put it right here. And that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we want to hit insert, and we're going to use opposed, and this is what we're going to use for this. Uh, for most of the time, because we do have circles all over these pieces, you're going to be using insert. So we select that there, and then that inserts it. Great. Okay, well now we want to do this other side. So we are also going to use insert. And we'll select one edge there, and then the top there. Okay. So now all these parts are constrained. They're not going to move at all. They are stuck firm. Yeah, that's right. OK. So that's how we want it. And then we're going to put this next piece in. And we'll put this piece right here and right here. And then instead of using that again, uh, insert again, we're going to use different constraints now. 
So there's two different ones we could use right now if we didn't couldn't find out where that um, hole was over there. But first, let me show you what'll happen if you mess up. Uh, so if you do try to like put this hole in and say you want this to go here, well that's not going to work because I mean I didn't select the right edges and nothing's going to work there. That you can't do that. Uh, pieces physically won't go there. So we're going to have to cancel this operation. You, you assembly can't assembly can't be solved this way. So that's no good. Um, we could do it with insert, but I'm not going to just so I can show you some others. So there's again you could use flush. You could make this face flush on this face here or this face here, and that would do it. See, um, but another way to do it, and this is pretty useful if you have some things that aren't the same that you need parallel. So if you need them parallel, you go over to angle here and go to directed angle and it's set at zero degrees normally so you just select the two faces and now there's zero degrees difference from each other so they're parallel uh, so those are the that's the basic frame we're going to use for our robot and kind of how we're going to start this so again this is what we're going to build and I'll put on some more parts in the next video I'll probably put on the wheels and the motors so this is just kind of how you put it together. Maybe we could put in another piece real fast. We'll put in these. Um, so again, if we want to place these down, we just open that up, put them in. Okay, and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna select a edge there, or a hole there, and a hole here. Apply those. We're gonna rotate this guy around. Okay, it looks right. Up in the right-hand corner, we have the um, the camera views, so we can go isometric here and then anywhere else we want. Uh, you saw me using those. Um, here, you can use this orbit thing if you need to get some more like little details. If you can't, you can always zoom in and zoom out. Um, yeah, so basically you use the that unless you need to get in somewhere. Uh, so right now that's partly constrained and I'll go ahead and put this piece in as well. Um, so right there. Okay, and then to finish this off I'm just going to make them flush with each other. Oops, that was wrong. Okay, we'll try this again. Make them flush. Okay, and now those parts are fully constrained because we put them in a hole and then we used flush on them. Uh, so that is the basic intro to building FTC robots. And this is our basic frame that we're going to start with. I'll build on to it in the next video. Thank you.